t-shirts on. We're in California. This ain't Jersey. Oh, look how nice. Who cares about the sky? Look at our race bar. We're mom vanning it for the week. Does it have a Hemi in it? It's an empty bag. Alright. Filled with parts. Yeah. So first time at Offenhauser. Awesome, this is like legendary. This is one of those things you've been reading about, offy speed equipment, you know, everybody gets into this stuff. Dreams of offy stuff, get to see where it's been made, all the history here, it's really, really awesome. This is uh, probably one of the coolest places I've been in a long time. Driving through day two, the middle of nowhere, yeah. the desert. Actually, I guess we're out of the desert now, kind of getting into the mountains. But yeah. we, uh, so 
first day we got into the airport, we packed like as much as we possibly could into the trip. Uh, we literally walked off the plane, got a rental car, and headed right to uh, stop and visit friends. So we stopped at uh, Chop It Custom, known those guys for a little while, and uh, just kind of got the tour, see what they had going on. Uh, headed to my buddy uh, Kev Elliott's place. He used to uh, work for Rod and Custom for years and has been a hot rod and custom guy for a lot longer than me. Um, and then we, what? We, then Stopped we hit, at a Harley dealer for Jason. Oh, yeah. Jason had to buy some overpriced t-shirts. That was number one on the list. Actually, yeah. yeah, I forgot. That was our first stop, actually. Yeah, we had to get him, stop him from crying. That's how much so. we like Jason. We had to stop there first. Why don't we ask Mike why he doesn't have a victory t-shirt? Because Victory's no longer in business, but we're not we're not here to talk about that. <laughs> I am. Play nice, kids. <laughs> I will turn this van around. God. Um, and then yeah, they, we kind of uh, last stop was uh, Offenhauser uh, had their had like a little uh, open house type party thing. We we kind of got there late, which actually ended up being pretty cool because it had died down a little bit. We could get some really cool shots. Um, we're excited to share a video on just the tour of the Offenhauser facility and kind of speak with some of the new faces there and the, uh, the direction they're going with the company, which we really believe in. Um, and then we drove kind of late in the night into the desert, uh, stayed with my buddy Matchstick. Um, he has, uh, David has worked with uh, Winfield for a while. He's a, uh, one of the faces behind Custom Vanner magazine. Uh, they have a huge following, obviously, um, on Instagram and their magazine. Puts on some shows. Uh, super cool, interesting dude. Makes everything. Lives in the desert. They work till all hours of the night. Has a little Kwanzaa hut thing. It's pretty neat. Yeah, um, we showed up at like 11.45 and they're running the pool max in yeah, the back of the shop. It was perfect. I felt right at home. Yes. Uh, so we, we were super tired and, and kind of crashed there. And uh, got up early this morning, basically at sunrise and are heading to Turlock. So it's from where um, Matchstick's in uh, Lancaster, California. So it was like four hours almost on the nose of uh, the drive. So we're kind of starting to go through the mountains now. And uh, we probably got another, what, three hours maybe? Three hours and 15 minutes. So we haven't been driving very long. We have not. So what are you shopping for today, Matt? rare speed equipment i don't know oh yeah we forgot to mention yeah uh, i bought a set of uh pretty nice uh insert photo here insert photo right there uh of uh twist or a uh, bent spoke uh kelsey hayes 16 inch wires that uh kev had just got from like a neighboring garage the guy was cleaning out somebody's estate and the guy rolled in with him he bought them Moved them over in his garage the day before. I walked in, was like, "Hey, what's up with those wheels?" I bought them. They're sitting at his shop. He's offered to uh, palletize whatever I buy, which is bad. Oh news. my gosh, I know. He, I can't believe he said it. Matt's eyes lit up. It was like yeah. a child on That's Christmas. That's bad news for any of us. Yes. Yeah, that is true. So we all like big, heavy junk. Yeah. So now we have a pallet, and uh, we have some wheels. Really great deal on them. I'm probably gonna keep them because a set of five are pretty nice. Um, and uh, so yeah, now when we're at Turlock, we can kind of buy whatever and kind of load a pallet up to make it worthwhile. So we'll be uh, a little less limitations as far as size and. There's and never weight. limitations, Matt. What are you talking <laughs> about? I've known you for a very long time. There's never ever any limitations. Yeah, we've been we've been uh, we've been cruising Facebook Marketplace and and Craigslist. Even though the competition is pretty pretty fierce out here, still looking for deals uh, every Or a vehicle to drive home, because yeah. what would make this trip any more ridiculous than road tripping all the way back to PA? That would be fun. So yeah, we're gonna drive a little bit. Uh, it's setup day uh, at Turlock today, and uh, one of our viewers, Thomas, he uh, his dad's been vending here for a really long time and has kind of a grandfathered space he hooked us up with his dad who uh, is going to help us get into the swap meet. Uh, we're gonna help him set up his booth and in return we'll get some vendor passes and be able to hang out with those guys and also kind of get our bearings early so we can hit the ground running. So uh, we'll see what we find today and tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be awesome and uh, yeah, it should be fun. <laughs>
Come on. <laughs> Day three, Mr. Murray. It's sort of cold, but it is beautiful. This is insane. And uh, what, what's the, what do we have in here though? Oh my god. We spent some money and found some cool stuff. I'll have to drop some photos in. Yeah, some intakes. Ford sign. Mike scored some good beer stuff. Yeah, the big Ford sign it's turned over, but Flathead intake stuff. Yeah. So what do you want to do for breakfast? I want to walk, what is it, 10 feet? Have, Clem well they're not clementines, what are they called here? Tangerines. Tangerines. We call them clementines. Yeah. We're gonna go over here, see the tree, pick our favorite. You know what, I think I like this one. Right. One right up in there. Yep, have one of these. It smells so good. Breakfast in California is the best. 